Everyone loves toys, no matter how old you are. It seems like everyone had a favorite toy back in the day. But what if toys were alive? Imagine what it would be like to be a toy soldier or a Lego person. Dylan is using a spinner as a carousel, but he spun it too hard. The poor things will have trouble staying on. The first guy to fly off is Mr. Lego. The soldier is determined to stay on, but he's so dizzy he has to surrender. I can't take it anymore. Mia is playing a different game. This is like a whole soap opera. The dolls are fighting again. And one of them gets really injured. Oof, this looks bad. Luckily, if you're a doll, losing a limb is NBD. It's just another plot twist in Mia's game. This doll needs urgent help. Can you help reattach her arm? If Legos can't do the trick, Dr. Mia is here to help. She gives her little helper some tape. Now the doll is all better. And she seems grateful that things turned out like this. Mia is tired of acting out melodramas. To entertain herself, she needs to come up with a new game. She has some dolls that have been single for a long time. Let's give them a makeover and change their lives. This old doll is ready to get married. And we have a groom right here too. But he's leaving his bride at the altar. Meanwhile, at Dylan's place, construction is in full swing. His Lego guys are working hard. While Dylan was playing a video game, they put up a wall. But it didn't last long. The foot of fate wiped their wall off the face of the earth. Well, Dylan is also suffering. Now he's mad, and the Legos are going to be in serious trouble. They have to spend the next couple of days exiled to this dark, tiny box. Poor guys, they were just doing their job. Mia loves presents, and she just got one. Her new toy is a sweet stuffed unicorn that even says I love you if you squeeze him just right. It's nice to hear that, even if it's from a toy. Just don't forget one thing. It can be scary to hear a terrifying croaking noise from inside your closet. It seems like a monster lives with you. But it's not a monster. It's dead batteries inside a talking toy. All you need to do is change the batteries and the unicorn turns from a scary monster into a cuddly buddy. You must be wondering, what would a human simple dimple look like? We have an answer for you. These guys keep playing hide and seek. But sometimes, if Dylan is playing too hard, one of them flies out of the game. Oh, that's boring. A dinosaur fight? Classic. But to be honest, that can get boring too. The best part about toys is that you can create your own story. It's all up to your imagination. Dylan's cowboy is in trouble. He is surrounded by dinosaurs. He would have been done for if not for the monster truck. Rubik's cubes are super fun. Not everyone can figure them out. Dylan is gonna need help. Lego men know a lot about cubes. They can handle this easily. Now Dylan can execute the next plot twist. The cube has been destroyed. No more jokes. General Dylan's army has a new task. 
there's about to be a huge battle on Table Mountain. The armies are attacking. We're about to see who's going to come out on top. This is war. Only one soldier will survive to raise the flag over the battlefield. Toys are great experiment subjects. Dylan wants to test if a Rubik's Cube can stop this brave cowboy. He's about to be flung out of a slingshot. He volunteered, don't worry. Ready, aim, fire! The cowboy makes great ammo! And now he's feuding with the Lego people. As soon as they build something, someone breaks it. We can't accept that. Aw, poor things. Toys are fun. But they can save you sometimes, too. This guy with a motor is a real lifesaver. Yeah, we're talking about you, fan. For saving Dylan from the heat, you get a new role in his game. A furious tornado sweeps the defenders of Table Mountain off the face of the earth. These plastic warriors will never know that a mysterious supervillain beat them. She's called Storm, because she blows like a thousand winds. The wind is so strong that she is exhausted. One warrior managed to stay on Table Mountain. Not only humans have toys, our furry friends love to play too. But let's let them keep their toys. They've drooled all over them. This could use a wash. Toys deserve to be clean too. Dylan can't play soccer today. A deflated ball no. is no good. No. No. Why? <laughs> Why? He looks empty. Literally. Ha. Instead of being sad, Dylan should help his deflated friend and blow him up. The pump is like a trainer, and he'll help you get back in shape. Come on, champion! You can do it! The ball is ready! Let's play! These twins are always ready to fight. Their ammo in Secret Agent Dylan's gun. But the big downside is that they miss a lot. After a shot, you have to send a whole search expedition. Why? Or they'll be lost forever. For never was a story of more woe than the story of these boxed lovers who followed their hearts out of their cardboard homes into the sunset. Well, that's how the toy store employee tried to explain why the dolls are missing. But don't worry, it's a happy ending. No one's in trouble. Love is not a crime. Barbie and Ken are together somewhere. Yay! Dylan is in prison? And it's on fire! He can't even get out because his hands are like Legos! Phew! What a weird dream. Good thing he's in his own cell with a little fire. Wait, hold on, this is out of control. Dylan and Mia were just playing cops and robbers. Did you like our new story? What's your favorite toy that you have? 
Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Trim Trim Trick.